Hello and welcome to Forex.academy, the number one website for Forex and crypto education and analysis. In today's edition, we are going to be looking at mastering risk management. What is risk management in retail Forex? It doesn't really matter how well you set up your trade. The bottom line is that you won't know the amount of volume that is trading against you in any particular situation. And so, if you have a particular trade setup which is producing returns on a consistent basis, that's great news. However, there will always be times when trades will go against you and this is when you must have a good risk management strategy in place. Also, if you are trying new trade setups, you especially need to be mindful of your potential losses if your trade does not go to plan. Again, this can only be done by implementing risk management. One of the biggest friends that you will ever have in risk management is a strong understanding of the currency pair that you are trading or thinking about trading. When you consider taking on a trade, you should know whether or not there is a great risk of extreme volatility just about to commence in a particular pair as soon as you have pulled the trigger. Therefore, before you can execute a designated spot or limit order trade, you should be extremely cautious of looming fundamental reasons why the trade might very quickly go against you. For example, it could be that major fundamental economic news is just about to be released, and where you had no knowledge because you had not researched this properly, or it could be that the finance minister pertaining to one of the currencies is just about to give a statement, or even a press conference regarding monetary policy. This could dramatically move the market against you. There is also a timing issue to factor into your trade. For example, let's say that you have a trade setup in mind, but the market is just about to move from one time zone into another, such as the New York session to the Asian session. Traders in the new time zone might have a completely different view about the exchange rate on your chosen pair, and then decide to move in a different direction against you. But let's just say you have taken all of the above necessary precautions and you are ready to pull the trigger on your trade. You should have a profit target in mind to exit your trade. But what you should also have is an exit threshold in the event that the trade goes against you and you want to cut your losses. The most simple and effective way to mitigate against this is to use a stop loss order on your trade, or part of it, at a predetermined exchange rate in the event that the trade moves against you. To be a successful forex trader, it is a simple matter of mathematics. You need to win more trades than you lose, and those losses should be less than your wins. Therefore, you should aim for a minimum of 2 to 1 as a ratio. For example, you should be aiming to win $200 for every $100 loss. This is considered to be a positive risk to reward ratio, and will be a minimum required for you coupled with more winning trades than losers. Another area where new traders regularly have shortcomings is that they often take their profit too quickly and let their losing trades run on too long. This is very often coupled with chasing losses, where traders take extra risks to try and win back losses. This can often come about by doubling up and taking on riskier trades without validating setups. This type of destructive trading can be mitigated against by adopting a trading style which is successful and with the previously mentioned risk to reward strategy and then trading consistently without deviation. One other problem which can burst a new trader's bubble is a lack of understanding when it comes to leverage. By over leveraging your position, you will be in danger of getting closeouts due to margin calls. By trading with overextended leverage, you run the risk of blowing your account. In fact, over 70% of new retail forex traders will blow their account in the first six months of opening. And so, learning to gauge how to trade with a reasonable amount of leverage relating to your account balance will allow you to develop a consistently winning trading style. This is when to consider ramping up your leverage, when you are winning, not when you are losing. Therefore, the most effective way to adopt a successful risk management strategy is to remember that winning consistently at Forex will only ever happen with self-discipline and by adopting the methodology covered in this video. This, in tandem with an uninterrupted workspace, a cool head in stressful situations, and some degree of self-evaluation with regard to psychological suitability, is a must if you are serious about trading successfully in the Forex market. Thank you for joining us today at Forex.Academy. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and comment down below if there's anything you'd like us to cover in future, or if you would like to discuss the topics we have covered. Have a great day.